So today I'm going to be showing a pretty cool, well, cool thing I did in my truck. As soon as I... You guys ready to see the new battery? There she is. My new two cell 7.4V 3.33 uh to be eight. I'm not sure what that stands for. But it's got 450. That's and if I see I think it's 450 megahertz, I think. Uh, but I'm pretty impressed what this little battery can do. Now you all have seen this truck run before. Now I don't have one. I have four of them. Because I have one from my brother's truck. One in the 6x6. Another one from my army truck. My blue truck. And my army truck. That army truck. Now, you're probably wondering what in the heck happened here. Well, I could have put this axle here, or right up here where these belong. I thought about it. I should have, but I didn't do it. And I made a homemade race shaft out of wood, as you can see. Out of wood, and it works with super glue because it turns out. If I don't drop it, hopefully, the dry shaft hooks into here, hooks into my adder axle. Both outputs were messing up. I don't know why. I contacted Gear, Gear Best and I told them about it. I think they're going to send me a new dry shaft with those two pieces in it. I don't know. I looked on YouTube. Nobody else has the issue I had. When I go forward, you can hear the metal gear. It's a metal axle with the two metal spines. That's it. This one's got plastic. This one's plastic. As you can tell... Well, I can't really see it, but. Because I know, because I put the S axle together. And I put this axle together. This one was already pre made, built. It's defective. One side was spin pretty good, the other side would not. So when I was driving last night, my truck was like this, and that's it. Then it'll stop. It'll bind itself up. So I thought. Okay, it was probably this piece. So I trimmed it. Was not. I even, okay, then I thought maybe it was this piece. So I trimmed this one. It was not. To get rid of this, my truck goes back and forth. So for about 55 to 80 bucks, when well I was 90 bucks for the axles, I'm going to upgrade all three axles for like, I think it's like 80, but. I picked up red axles. It's on sale for 55 bucks. That's later on though. This is just temporary. And then this bond piece here that holds the two axles in, that's 90 bucks. All completely metal. What's I thought about doing that too? I can order a dry shaft for this part, this piece, and this piece. So all three dry shafts will get replaced to metal. But for right now, I'm not going to do anything to these springs. I'm just going to try to leave it like that. 
I might try to sand this part, sand this part, and solder it to the frame to keep it well balanced. That way these don't catch on anything because they hang right there. That sucks, but hey, there's nothing I can do right now. Or I might try to hook a piece of wire and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Tie it to here, maybe, to keep it out of the way. I don't know. It's got a better way to doing it. But overall, it does work, because this is the only truck I have working. So, wait, I can haul stuff around if I wanted to. No offense, I kind of like this look. But there's one problem. <laughs> they don't make a motor race long enough for it. I wish they did, because that makes it actually pretty cool. Because if I do the same thing here with this front axle, I think I can. I think I have extra leaf leaves. I can do it. If I can, I might just do it to the back end somehow. Because all I have to do is attach it to the frame where these buck went into. I could just tie it right to the frame and be done with it. And this axle, I could put it somewhere where it's more closer to the output which is probably my best bet right there but I mean this gives it more of a cleaner look because I don't want to hurt my springs at all um I'm not sure what else to think about so far <laughs> This is the only thing I got in the mail. My LiPo batteries. These are LiPo, by the way. Um, this is Shimi in China. But I bought them. They came from California. They got here pretty quickly. I'm excited. Uh, these cost me 10 bucks a piece. So 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks for four batteries. Which he only had four left, and as I said, well, instead of buying two or three, buy them all. But now I think he's got like five more now left in stock. But I'm like, what? I just bought all four. He now he's got five left. Okay. Kind of sucks, but I've been I'm open to ideas on this truck because I'm not sure what to do, and it's kind of cool because before this truck had no torque. All it is shoots the battery. Now that's torque. Because a lot of people say, oh, this truck has no torque with the 180 motor. Well, that's pretty, oops. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Now we'll climb straight up. No. Oh, 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 got down here, my hope. So, does that truck look like he's got plenty of torque now? Let's see if we can do that again. This is not hard to do because I'm trying to get it.
Axel down, Axel down, no oh, no. Right, you can see the hub. Alright. I'm gonna end the video here so I can fix my truck. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um yeah. See you guys in the next video and tomorrow or next day. But I did get some presents underneath the tree, so to Edison, what's they're all Edison's besides that one that one with the tape goes to my sister in law. So <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys later.